Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am kind of doing a re-review of a pen that I've reviewed before that I liked. Um, but I got seduced by one of the colorways of this pen and I'm talking about the Sailor Le Cool and this is the Rose Quartz version. Um, I already had one of those um, see-through versions um, with the clear caps that I think they were only sold at cold, pe cold pens before. I've seen them at Endless Pens so they're more widely available now um, and they're more like, I don't know, they're more child friendly than these ones. I mean these are also child friendly but I mean these are more geared to um, adult buyers um, and the other ones are like way more colorful and see-through and like people who love demonstrators would love that one. This one is just very very pretty, very cute and that's why I got it. Loved my old look cool. Had one problem, cap end cracked. I probably over tightened it and like it was gonna be replaced but it never sent out the cap. My fault. Like it was not a problem that would put me off this pen. Anyway, I wanted to see if I got a, like a fluke pen, like I was lucky with the nib and how it felt uh, or whether like they're all good um, basically. So upcoming is another look at the Sailor Le Cool in a different colorway which is so pretty. Um, great gift idea. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna decide whether I still love it um, and whether like it's worth the money. Yeah, let's switch to shop. All right, I have been on a little bit of a sailor kick recently and I bought an expensive sailor recently but also bought a non-expensive sailor and this is the non-expensive sailor that I want to show you. Um, I just got it, haven't really inked it yet. I'm gonna ink it on camera, I haven't done that in a long time. I wonder how it's gonna go. Knowing me, I'm gonna get more inky than I already am. <laughs> but yeah, let's just look at it. Um, I have done a video about a version of this pen already and I loved it then um, and I kind of want to do like a first impressions of this one and see if it is just as good um, because it might have been like a one-off or maybe not. Sailor tends to be good so I'm gonna try and trust them. Anyway, the Sailor box. This pen cost me 30, no not 30, like $22. It was not expensive and it is the Le Cool or I don't know how to pronounce that. It says Le Cool Fountain Pen Power Stone Rose Quartz. So Power Stone is the series and the Rose Quartz is the one that I ordered which means it's like a pinky pen which I'm excited about. Anyway, here it is. Comes in the clamshell box which makes it feel like a really deluxe experience in my opinion. But yeah, here we have the Le Cool, Le Cool. I'm just gonna say Le Cool because I like saying Le Cool. And it is one of those typical flat top sailor pens. And I always feel like this pen, even though it's $22, it kind of looks like one of the high end sailors because it has a similar shape. I do not have a Progear Slim inked, but I do have a normal Progear inked. So let me put that next to it. I'm actually grabbing it, it's off camera right now. And if you look at that, sizes are fairly, fairly similar. The regular Pro Gear is a little bit bigger and um, it's a little thicker, also a little weightier. But yeah, the shapes of them are fairly, fairly similar. And I would guess it is even more similar to the Slim because the Slim is a smaller version of the Pro Gear. Anyway, this is a Rose Quartz version with silver hardware and a clip that is, ooh, 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 where am I going? is very usable. I would definitely not hesitate to use that clip, put it on a shirt or a dress or whatever. Um, it will work. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, it is slightly sparkly. I hope the camera really picks that up. It is a lovely looking pen. It says Sailor Japan and then look cool right there. Yeah. Is that classic Sailor look? What is not like the Pro Gear Slim? or the Pro Gear is the nib because this is a steel sailor nib and honestly I think their steel nibs don't look very interesting or very nice. I wish they looked better. Uh, of course it's not about the looks of the nib, it's about the writing experience in the end so I'll forgive that for now 
but yeah it is kind of a boring looking nib all these come in medium fine which is a pretty good nib size um, and it is a screw cap as you can see cartridge converter pen would not eyedropper it because um, this area doesn't seem, it's not one piece like there are multiple pieces right here and probably ink would leak out of that so I wouldn't do it comes with a converter though and uh, sailor converters are okay they're not my favorite I tend to unscrew the whole like uh, mechanism right there but that's just me so yeah you can definitely put a cartridge in there or a converter posting it makes it a little top heavy it is not a heavy pen in general but this makes it a little top heavy uh, you could use a post-it if you want to but it would not have my preference honestly and then unposted it is a decent length like it's a full-size pen that you can definitely use um, properly now let me get my notebook so you can see it on a white background and um, for me to have like a page there for when I ink it it is a very soft pink color yeah it is very nice and yeah let's ink it up I haven't done this on camera for a while it always tends to be a little messy grabbed an ink that I love dye my Gas OC which is a blue with sheen not too dry um, I'm afraid that this medium fine nib might be a little dry. I hope not, but we'll see. Um, can you guys, you only well, can't really see much of it. I don't want to, I can tilt it a little bit. It's going to be, it's going to be messy if I do that. Yeah, okay, this is not helping. What am I doing? What am I doing? Guys, why do I do this on video? Anyway, I just screwed the converter up and like, <sighs> ink everywhere uh, it's gonna take me some time to clean this section so I'm gonna clean this section off camera <laughs> and there's a reason why I don't tend to do this on camera anymore you would think that after all this time using these fountain pens I would be better at inking these but yeah no uh, I'll be right back okay I got this section cleanish um, I would say if you do not want ink in the threads um, so I mean the threads um, right there you should ink this just by putting the converter in the ink and not the nib because it is a pin to clean um, but yeah I got it sort of clean um, you see ink here in the grip that is fairly normal there's just ink around the nib that got there while I was inking it so that's normal anyway that was kind of a fun fun, fun faily experience again uh, to do it on camera but it did like give me immediate feedback on something that annoys me and that is dirty threads that are hard to clean um and yes i ink myself terribly anyway something to note when you get this pen um there are darker colorways like there's a lapis version um it would happen as well but you wouldn't see it as much as on this light version so it it won't wouldn't bother me as much right now it does bother me a little bit okay a writing sample so a sailor look cool with a medium fine nib and then um this is a rose quartz oh, uh, version and uh, the ink is dye mine. So I guess so see. I love that ink smell. It's like dirt. I love it. Um, don't if you have this ink and you're like, what does this smell? It's just the ink. It's normal for this ink. And I love it. Inky smell. And I am again very happy with this pen. I am not unhappy I am very happy this pen is so I wouldn't say smooth but it's so pleasant to write with um, it would be like the perfect daily beater with for me like at work it would be the perfect daily beater for me I uh, don't currently have a job but you know I know I like I know what I would like at work um, it says medium fine 
it is definitely more a fine nib. I actually, the, the, this is a medium sealer. So let me, these nibs run uh, definitely on the finer side because this, this pen right here is also medium. So, oh, my dog is jingling. Sorry guys. Um, so they do run on the fine side. I don't mind that. I actually like this uh, nib size. It is not unbearably smooth. It has a tiny bit of feedback, um, but it is actually really nice feedback. You can feel your writing but it is in no, no way scratchy and the ink flow is great. And yeah, I just love it. Like, I think slowly this is becoming one of my uh, favorite starter pens. Um, I do have to warn you guys that if you get this pen, don't um, screw the cap on too tight. My other look cool, uh, I still use it. However, I have cracks near uh, the cap end here because I over tightened it. I'm pretty sure it was my fault. Pen, pen is still fully functional, but it's a clear pen and you can really see the cracks. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, just beware. Don't over tighten it. Um, Sailor would have replaced the cap for me, but I, I didn't want to go through the hassle to uh, send it to the seller because I didn't buy it locally and like I was just being lazy. Um, but yeah, just pay attention to not over tightening this cap. Um, but all in all, I think this is like a super good starter pen. Um, to be fair, I got this at Endless Pens. It was on sale for $22. I think the normal price is like 30. I think it's still worth it. If you don't want to deal, for example, with a um, piston filler like the Twisby, um, and um, you don't like the preformed grip of the Safari, I think this is a great, great contender. Also, you get that classic sailor look, the flat top sailor look that I love, 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 love. Okay, rambled enough about this pen. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, found this interesting. I know it's like a re-review, but I still really love it and it's a great pen. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.